Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. It says, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from where comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. So much of renewal and restoration in our life begins with our outlook on life, on God, and particularly upon yourself. Setting your sights on the Lord makes everything else seem to grow dim. The Bible tells us that we should set no wicked thing before our eyes. That means that the focus you have on life will determine your direction, your desires, and your decisions. See, you have got to believe that the Lord cares enough about you to help you. Help comes not just because he's, he's obligated to help us. The psalmist says here, my help. He made it personal. My help comes from the Lord because he loves you like nobody else loves you. See, when the widow was without food for her and her son, God sent help through Elijah. When the man's daughter lay dying, the Lord came and helped by raising her up again. And I'm sure you remember the Hebrew boys who were under the heat and fire of the furnace until the Lord showed up and became their help in time of trouble. I want you to notice that the help came from the maker of heaven and earth. No one knows what, how to make things quite like God. So when you're feeling down and discouraged, say, my help comes from the Lord. When the battle is raging in your home and there's a fight with the enemy to, to maintain your marriage or to maintain your finances or whatever the case may be, say, my help comes from the Lord. For your children when there are bullies at school that try to make them feel bad and, and, and deprive them of their self-worth. Quote this scripture over their, over their lives. Make them remember it every single day. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And the devil is trying to steal the innocence of your children. Claim that verse of scripture over their life. Don't you ever let anybody tell you that you're not priceless, that you're not the apple of God's eye, that you're not someone worth dying for and someone worth living for. I pray you have a great day. Take your time and spend your time with the maker of heaven and earth. Be safe. Be strong and be blessed. Claim the word of God over your household. Come what may, our help comes from the Lord. God bless you.